Welcome back to Carnades.org. Today we're going to be continuing with our series, Three Months of Modal Logic, a sequel to the 100 Days of Logic. In this video, we are going to be talking about the instant model of time. This is one of two models of time, and it's going to be the model of time we're going to be focusing on in this series. So, there are two principal models of time that have been represented in temporal logic, or rather, used to represent time the instant model and the interval model. Basically, the instant model deals with individual instants, and the interval model deals with spaces in time that may or may not have length. In this series, we're going to be focusing on the instant model. In the next video, we'll talk a little bit about the interval model, but we're not going to focus on it much. We're going to be focusing in this series on the instant model. This model is simpler to understand, but it's still pretty complicated and work with, but it's not going to be as expressive as the interval model. So what are instants? Instants are exactly what they sound like, individual moments in time. They are points on a timeline. They don't have a duration. So an instant doesn't last a fraction of a second, a point of a second. They are a point, just like a point on a line doesn't have any length or a line doesn't have any breadth or a plane doesn't have any depth, instants on a timeline don't have any duration. They're going to be understood in terms of the binary relation. That means it's a two-part relation. It relates two things. Precedence, which we're going to represent with kind of that curvy less than sign. Um, so if we wanted to say one moment is before another moment, we would kind of say that first moment give that curvy precedent sign, and then the second moment. The smaller side goes to the previous moment, and the larger side goes to the latter moment. We're generally going to use x, y, and z to represent generic time instants for all x, for all y, and t, t prime, t double prime, and so on to represent specific time instants. Though we may change this around as we go forward to other variables to represent the specific time instance. But generally, x, y, and z are going to be generic time instances, and t and t prime are going to be specific ones. All right? So basically, the takeaway is the instant model of time has as its core, as its basic unit, instance points on a timeline. In the next video, we're going to be taking a look at the interval model of time, which is going to take as it basic as its basic unit, intervals of time. Watch a new video every single day for three months here at Carnades.org, and stay skeptical, everybody.